SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law. Check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first. Then you act. Oh man, I was thinking about that uh, you know, all week. Um, but it's it's a really good feeling, you know, to, to be on a team that's a part you know, of, of, of Coach D, you know, breaking that record and his legacy. Um, it's definitely it's definitely something we'll be able to look back on, you know, 20 years down the road and, and be proud of. That first blitz was a message sender, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> well, I mean, was it a message sent to you guys or to the other team? Um, you know, we just—I I feel like you know our coaches, uh, especially Coach Tressel, um, with, with this game especially, we want to come out you know being as aggressive as possible. Um, and, and I think that was that was part of the reason. You know, we went with that call at first, the first play of the game, um, and it worked for us. So. What was said in the huddle on that fourth and goal when they, uh, when they were trying to score mm -hmm. early in the game? What were you guys talking about in the huddle? Just being clutch. Um, performing in clutch situations, goal line, um, red zones, one of those clutch situations, you know, that, we, that we've been working all off season. Um, something that we that we put a focus on after last year, and say we'd be better at, and you know, we worked at it, worked at it, and we paid off today. Were you surprised when they didn't line up for the field goal, but actually decided to go for it? Um, no, nah, not surprised. You know, we we're kind of expecting them to go for it. You know, uh, with the type of team that Northwestern is, um, we were definitely expecting it. When you see your own offense have three touchdowns three times in the red zone. Is, you, know, you guys are well aware that's the group that probably needs the most growth on this. What, what goes through your mind when you see that sort of progress from them? Um, they just, you know, playing Spartan football. Um, you know, as an offense, you know, their goal is to score points. Um, and they came out and did that today. Um, so it was definitely, it was definitely um, good to see from the defensive side. You know, um, but that's, that's what they're supposed to do. You know what I mean? When you're able to play with a lead, how does that change things for you guys? Um, it really doesn't change a whole lot because um, we, you know, we still go out there every series as if you know we're we trying to stop them, get them off the field, you know, three and out. So that, that's our mindset each and every time we step on the field, regardless of what the score is. So it's not really a different feeling or, or anything if, you, if you're up 14-3. I mean, at, at at the most, like towards the end of the game, we just we were saying like keep turning it up, yeah, yeah. You know, keep 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 coming at them. So. You've probably been asked this a million times, but what does it feel like to be a part of something special like this, a milestone for Mark D'Antonio? It's only the second time. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but no, um, it's definitely a great feeling, um, just just being able to, to be a part of this legacy. Um, it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely something 20 years down the road this group of guys can look back on and be, and be proud of. What does it say about